Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time since I've updated you guys. To be completely honest, there's not a whole terrible lot going on right now, but I do have a pretty big update for you guys today. But before I do that, I figured I would show you guys my compression because I have all my compression on right now. So I have on my arm sleeves and those wrap around to the back have a pretty big tank top on too but I have these high-waisted leggings is typically what I wear and they also go all the way down to my ankle they don't have to go over the feet but um yeah I think that these are Bioflect um is the brand um they're pretty comfortable they take me probably I think it was about six minutes today to get all of them on um, and they're pretty warm, especially in the Iowa humidity, but gotta do what you gotta do. Um, I find it interesting though when I wear these to see like how small my arms actually are. So it'll be really interesting after my surgeries to see, you know, how small my arms actually are. And same with, you know, my stomach, you can't really tell here going to show some skin just a heads up but I have quite a bit of loose skin from my surgeries but I have a lot of nodular fat still in there so she will be taking or doing an abdominoplasty um, and doing all the way around and then of course I don't know how well you can hear me but my legs and my hips are a huge issue so yeah i didn't think that i've ever shown you guys um what i look like with my compression or the type of compression that i have right now um if you guys have any other brands that you suggest let me know because i'm definitely gonna need a lot more after surgery um but yeah just one moment and i will come back with our little update okay so as of today we are one week from sending in this packet to insurance to get approved for my surgeries. I have a bunch of paperwork proving why they need to pay for it. Um, it took me about two and a half months to complete. Most of that really isn't my fault. I had to wait until I have three months of proof of wearing my um, compression. So I've been wearing compression for years, but I didn't know I had lipedema up until this year. So I never saved any of the receipts. And now that put me in a predicament of having to order more and wait for a few months just so that they can't come back and say that I have not done all the conservative measures that I need to do. But it's a pretty, uh, thick amount of paperwork from several different doctors, myself, um, all sorts of stuff. And hopefully that's enough to prove to them and I don't have to appeal and fight them the entire time on this. Um, I do have to fax all of this over. Luckily, my grandma has a friend who's a realtor. She is willing to do that for me for free so I don't have to go up to like a big business and pay a ton of money for this amount of paperwork to be faxed over but yeah we're only one week out finally i'm so excited i'm hoping that it doesn't take forever to hear back from them um and hopefully there's no appeals and then after that my surgeon will make a plan with them um for like the payment plans with the insurance company and then I will be on the schedule to start with my first surgery which will be um full 360 leg um, liposuction and then um, liposuction to my arms and skin removal of my arms that will be the first of at least three to four surgeries so yeah we are still working constantly trying to save up money for my surgeries we're getting closer there's still a pretty big gap there um the fundraiser's still going on if anybody has been 
um, contemplating on donating and helping me out with that, um, doing everything I can. But your help would be so greatly appreciated. I got three littles. They're actually right there playing on the playground with their dad. Um, but that makes it kind of hard to save. But regardless, I'm getting it figured. It, I'm getting it figured out and I'm getting super excited and nervous and honestly at this point I'm just ready to get this show on the road. I'm tired of sitting around waiting. I just want to get this first surgery done. Just keep moving and I'm ready to not be in pain and yeah but I figured I would pop in for a quick little update and just kind of let me know what's going on. Um, I get my iron levels checked again in a few weeks and I feel like those are getting a little bit better because um, some of my bruising is went down quite a bit and I'm hoping that that you know is a sign that my irons getting a little bit better so yeah as of right now I can't think of any other updates um, I've been trying to update a little bit more frequently on TikTok so if you don't have me on TikTok, go over there. It's also my life with lipedema. Um, and yeah, I'll try to post a little bit more often. Um, if there's any videos that you'd like to see me do, like any questions that you have and um, or anything you want explained, let me know and I'd be happy to make a video for you guys. Thank you guys for coming and watching and I will see you guys in the next one.